Hey everyone, this video is going to be a little bit different than usual since I'm having some car problems. So yesterday I started up my car and the engine was shaking, so I figured I was having a misfire. So I went and drove to get the codes read, and I got the codes back and I was having a misfire in cylinders 3 and 4. So they recommended that I change out the plugs, wires, distributor, cap, and rotor. So I've got brand new plugs that I had put in maybe 10 months ago. So I got the rest of the items and I'm going to go ahead and replace those now and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and start the car because I need to move it to a better spot. So we'll see what happens when I do that. That was actually a clean start. No misfires. It's running smooth. All right. Well, gonna change the stuff anyways. So here's what I'm gonna be changing out. I'm gonna be changing out these wires, um, this distributor cap, and then the distributor rotor inside. So the important thing to remember is that we keep all of these wires in the correct position on the distributor so that the engine cylinders fire in the correct order. If you screw up these uh, wires here, you'll have some big problems. So. So I'm going to go ahead and take off this distributor cap. Um, so there's three screws, two here at the top and then one under here which is kind of in a tricky place so it's kind of nice to just have a socket wrench to be able to get to it. Um, and also these screws are pretty old so they'll probably strip if I just use a screwdriver. Pretty interesting. I know. So there's one. There's two. And there's the last screw. So now we have a look inside. Alright, looking in the distributor cap, the spots for contact for 3 and 4 both kind of have this white layer on them. The other spots for 1 and 2 seem to have a darker contact area. So you can see on this new distributor cap how the contact areas are completely clean. There's none of that white buildup on them. So hopefully that's part of the problem. So I've run into a small problem. The screw I need to get at is in the back of this, as you can see here on this new distributor cap. And I can't take this off until I take this off, so I can't get to that screw. Now, if I could jack up my car, I could just turn the tires and most likely that would be able to rotate this since it's geared with the camshaft. But, I can't do that. So what I'm going to do is replace this distributor cap, start it back up, and uh, hope to have luck on my side. So remember, the order of these wires is pretty important, so I'm just going to do them one at a time and put them exactly where they go.
still very clean on the inside. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up and uh, hopefully no problems yet. Didn't look like any problems. Didn't feel anything. So I finally did get the distributor cap to a position where I could take it off. Uh, you can see that little screw in there that has to be undone. The thing is, it's on there very tight and I'm just going to end up stripping it when I take it off. But I have started and stopped the engine about, I don't know, eight times and it has not misfired at all um, so I'm thinking the main problem was just this distributor cap here and hopefully it won't misfire anymore I would like to switch this because it does seem to have a little bit of wear on it here but just from constantly sending sparks but I can't get it off and I'm not going to strip that screw and then never be able to get it off. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And the wires obviously work because it's been running so I don't think that was ever an issue so I'm not going to replace those. So I just went to return the wires and also return that distributor rotor since I didn't use them. And I was also going to see if I could get the codes cleared and see if they came back. Well, turns out it's illegal to clear codes, apparently, so they told me they couldn't do that and that the codes should clear on their own eventually. Fortunately, while I was driving back home, that happened. So I've got the engine running now, and the lovely check engine light is no longer illuminated, so that's a good feeling. Eighteen dollars.